Bunch of Club Hits here, but not for a video review, it's for another tier list. Yes, Celebrations this time, which is the best Celebration chocolate. Yeah, so those of you who don't know, Celebrations um essentially like a um, chocolate selection similar to Cadbury's Heroes, Quality Street, um, Roses, things like that. Um, yeah, basically, it's sort of Mars type bars, really. Mar sort of chocolates made by Mars, so sort of Snickers, Mars itself. Um, yeah, I guess Galaxy is made by Mars, isn't it? Yeah, hmm. yeah, so things like that. So that's the gist of it. Yeah, so an interesting one, Milky Way. Well, there's only way I can see them on the bottom here as well. So we've got a couple of ones that discontinue, so we'll, we'll evaluate those as well. And um, we'll do those at the end, of course. But they're ones that used to be in the set, but aren't any longer. So might be a bit of a shorter one, this one, than normal, because um, there's not as many in celebrations, and there hasn't been as many removed from it either. So it's kind of one of those where... Yeah, there's just not been as many chocolates in the selection, but um, still a good amount. But I would say... I would say celebrations are more standard affairs. I mean, I know there's the Cadbury's Heroes and things, but I still I feel like there's something a bit special about those. But I think celebrations for me aren't quite as special, especially since they got rid of the uh, yeah the Galaxy Truffle, which I think was um, a very unique one sort of product. So now they, they have released Galaxy Truffles recently, but they weren't, they're not the same, not the same thing. So you can't get these anywhere anymore. Um, and then what put the uh, Maltesers teasers on the map as well? That used to be um, totally unique to this product, but um, but again they've Basically, uh, they now sell that separately as well. So there's nothing really in this product anymore that's uh, not available external to it. So um, yeah, hmm. but you know, but they are different sizes, a bit different. So they are, you know, we could say well the, the shapes and consistencies maybe a slightly different, unique to this. And I was having a conversation um, with Emily Misty as well in the um, uh, the comments actually just earlier today or last night. Um, yeah, about this and saying yeah the consistencies are slightly different. And I mean there's things you know yeah a bit interesting. I'll come to them as we go into it. Um, but yeah, there's some. There is. It's, it's not as straightforward as you'd think. But they are generally a bit more generic than other chocolate selections. But it's not as I said. There is not quite as straightforward as uh, as perhaps I alluded to earlier on. But yeah, nonetheless, nonetheless, an interesting one. <laughs> okay, so right. Well, it's going to be a difficult one. This one we've got the same typical um, tiers as before in all the other chocolate selections. I think it might be difficult. These ones. I think it's great chalk. Wouldn't be celebrations without it. Does the job, needs improvement, and get it out. So these five layers. So that's what the tier list is about. So basically, what the gist of this is, I probably should have said sooner, really, but what the gist of it is, is we'll be dragging, I'll be dragging these chocolates and placing them um, into an appropriate tier, essentially. Um, yeah, so I was saying it's a great chalk. Wouldn't be celebrations without it or whatever. Um, and we're ranking them, basically. That's the gist of it. That's what we're doing. So, um, yeah. Interesting one. Now, now it's... Difficult because the, the standard is like a different tiers of ranks, so there's like one, two, three, four, five, or A, B, C, D, E, or whatever. Um, you know, um, yeah, but um, for this one, I've done my own sort of ad adaptations of it about whether or not they sort of should be in the selection or not, really. And um, yeah, rather than just sort of like actually ranking them as such. So, in the intro, I'm just keeping it consistent based on the other ones I've done, you know, the Cadbury's Heroes and the stuff like that. Um, I think this one might be a difficult one though. I think this might be difficult because I think these chocolates for me are very different than the than Roses, Quality Street, Heroes. I don't know. I find these generally to be a bit more mundane. I know some people really like them. I've seen the comments someone was saying it was their favourite set, I think. And for me, I'm I don't really you know. I think it's definitely my least favourite out of those big four chocolate selections, you know. Um but I can still eat them. I like I like the chocolates in them. I just feel find that they're quite mundane, you know, these days, you know, um, yeah, but you know, there are something about them, they're not unpleasant, and I can enjoy them. I just feel like they're just too much like a normal chocolate bar. You know, even even like the Cabbies Heroes things in there, they're a bit different if you know what I mean. But I, well, I don't know, hard to say, hard to say. But yeah, okay, well, as I say it might be a bit shorter this one. We've only got uh, I think this is the ten. Yeah, I think there's ten different chocolates here. So hmm. Might be a bit of a shorter one. Normally it's about 50 minutes an hour, so I don't know, it might be about 40 minutes this one, but we'll see. Still quite, <laughs> might still be quite long for some, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. So first one is Bounty. Yes, a Bounty. So, um, yeah, well, you know, basically coconut with chocolate, uh, milk chocolate covering. You can get a dark chocolate one in the actual bar version, but this is the milk chocolate one in here. For me, I'm not a big coconut fan. I find it's a bit like eating shredded paper, and even though it's not quite as bad as my mouth, I just feel like it clogs in my teeth, and so I don't like the consistency of that sort of feel of, I don't know, weird, weird texture that that, that that has, you know, it's a bit a bit weird, you know, I don't like it. Um, but it, but it's not that bad. I've had Bounty since, and I had a pineapple Bounty long ago that, uh, yeah, Scotty sent me, um, yes, regular of the channel, and uh, yeah, it was actually very nice. I enjoyed it, actually. I think it was more the flavour than anything else, just because of the way it's Way it worked with the with the uh, the coconut, but um, mm, but it was um, yeah. But so I'm not. I'm still not 
I, you know, I like Peshwari naans and things like this, you know. Um, because I'm not against it as such, but just generally eating just bits of it, you know, is, is not for me. So these ones are the ones that normally get left. A lot of people who like these ones actually will purposely not have them because they know that there'll be tons of them left at the end. So yeah. <laughs> So it's unfair, isn't it? Unfair. You know, all the others go, really. So this is one that's typically left at the end. It's not really for me. Um, for me, this is a get it out, really, because I'm not a fan of um, of, of bounties, particularly. Uh, but I do know there are people who like them. So it's one of those, isn't it? I feel like there's not many nutty type ones in here as such. Um, so I can kind of understand, I, I, you know, I'd like to say, I feel like it could be better though, you know what I mean? I feel like it's it's one of those where it, it does the job for those who like it, but for me, I feel like it'd be nice if it was something a bit special, like if it was a, like for instance, like the old um, Galaxy Truffle was something a bit special, this this set, and the, and the Maltesers teasers used to be, I mean, it's a, it's available elsewhere now because people liked it so much. Um, I think it'd be nice if it was like a pineapple bounty or a raspberry one or something. If they just spru spruced it to, I can understand why they don't because I think you know, if you, there's people who there's a lot of people who don't like bounty and there's people who do, and those that do probably want it to be just bounty. So I understand why they don't. So for me, it's either get it out or needs improvement. I think you know, but I can understand. Yeah, you know what I mean. I know I know it will do the job for some people. I I just I don't know. I feel like if there's, you know, is there other, are there other Mars products we could have in here that'd be better? Um, what could we have? What else could we have? We could have some kind of, I don't know, yeah, I don't really know what, what category it would be. Would a Rolos, maybe Mars come under Mars? I'm not sure, I don't think so. Some people would say you could bring out the Galaxy Truffle or the Topic, you know, bring those back in. Um, yeah, what other like Mars type, you know, um, yeah, things are there really? I don't know, there's not much else you could throw in there you could have some some other kind of something um you know you can have a, a you know yeah another type of a type of twix or another type of galaxy or something like that but then you know hmm yeah i don't know i can kind of understand it i can kind of understand it. i think i don't know it's one of those where this is my least favorite in the set um yeah I'm just I'm just very torn because I can see I can see it doing the job because people are like um coconut. I can see myself thinking like needs if it's gonna stay in it needs improvement because I don't like it as it is, or I'd rather it just be replaced with something else. Um you know, Galaxy Ripple or something like that, you know, um Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, this. I really don't know what to say. I don't know what to do with this one. Um, is it getting? I mean, I, I don't know. It's one of these three. It does the job for people who like it. I don't think you can really say it needs improvement because I think we've, you'll be changing the bar, basically. Um, I'm sure they could have something more interesting than this one. You know what? I'm I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna say get it out. I know I'm gonna say get it out. Gonna be controversial there. Just get it out. Get something better in there. I think there's better things to have. It's not an interesting one. Um, I know there's people like bounties, but those people like bounties like other chocolate as well. There's definitely better things that they could have in there. Uh, I mean, it's just too divisive. It's too. No one particularly likes them. It's like one in every ten people likes bounty. Um, I think they could just have something more exciting, they, they, you know, and there's not there's not loads of Mars products in as, that, you, that you can really think of. But they could also bring back the Topic or the Galaxy Truffle, or the Galaxy Truffle for me, for, definitely. Um, but, you know, if they wanted to, you know, have the nut sort of thing in, they could have the Topic back in. You know, they could have, as I say, different, you know, like a Ripple type bar, you know, Galaxy Ripple. I don't know it would have been three Galaxy bars in there, but, you know. Um, yeah, they could have a different type of Malteser, maybe. They could have, I don't know if Rolos come under... Mars, I'm not sure if they do, but if they did, they could have some kind of rollery type thing going on. Although that'd be like difficult. Um I think they might be Nestle actually, might sneak rollers. So maybe not yeah, maybe not with rollers. But um yeah, there's just I don't I just feel like there's more they could have. There's something different that they could have in there, you know. I, I just feel like there is. Um mm, or just more of the others, I think. But yeah, Galaxy Truffle. I'd rather have that in for sure. So there we go. Yeah, I think get it out. Just just get it out. Get it out. Controversial start there. Controversial start. <laughs>
Right, Galaxy Caramel, Galaxy Caramel, okay, well, hmm, so this one, I remember when this first was released, Galaxy Caramel, actually, it was lovely, uh, really nice, I remember, because up until that point, it was really Cadbury's Caramel that had all the, the Caramel Monopoly, really, as far as I was concerned, anyway, very nice, and I do like it, actually, Galaxy Chocolate's really nice, it doesn't work um, when flavoured, really, I think, other than perhaps with the caramel, when that's flavoured, I really do like it, um, really nice, I think Galaxy is a it's, it's 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 a really nice chocolate actually guys. It's it's really sort of creamy. It's the only creamy chocolate that I think really works and is really nice actually. Really do enjoy it. It's um hmm, something about it that really makes it stand out above other other type creamy type chocolates. You know, it's really um interesting. Hmm. Um and the and the, and the caramel's really nice as well. It's it's a lovely one. I think I think I over it when it first came out. I had so much of it. I think I kind of, yeah. Um, made myself, you know, I don't know if I made myself sick, but I definitely had too much of it, you know, and I think I got a bit bored of it, you know, um, metaphorically sick about it, sick of it, so, yeah, but I still really like it, I still think it's a great one, um, I don't think it would be Celebration Arts, I don't think it's one of those, for sure, I think it is more, I think it is a great shock, I think, it's just really good, it just works really well, it's, it's lovely, really nice, really nice, um, hmm, yeah, just just nice all around, nice chocolate, nice nice caramel. I think it's probably you know I'm not quite as enamoured with it as I used to be, um, but I do still like it. And I think it's good for the set as well. I think it's good for the set. It's the only you know just just caramel on its own one there. I think it works well with that. Often some of these sets have loads of like runny ones and stuff like that. This is the only real true runny one in it. You know, there's got other things in it. So yeah. Mm. Right, yeah, so, um, you're right, Mars then, Mars, well, Mars bar, I mean, this is, you know, it's, I always said that this one was kind of like the the staple of the set, really, but I'm not so sure, I don't know, you know, uh, what, I mean, one of those where you could say, would it be Celebration without it? Now, yeah, I feel like it probably does come under that, for best or worst, really. Um, you know, I think it been, it's one of those, it's a staple, isn't it? It is one of those, I think, where, yeah... We we are, you might you argue that Twix was like that and they did get rid of that for a time. Um Yeah, I don't know. If Mars disappeared from it, would it would it mean the set wasn't wouldn't work? And I'm not sure, you know. Um I'm not sure. I'm, it's what it's it's I don't think it's a great shot of the Mars one. It does it does taste nicer than a regular Mars bar because it's just that small, compact mini version of it and it just has a it just works actually. It's surprisingly better than you'd think. I often don't bother with them until forced into it because there's only because what tends to happen is in these you tend to be left with the mars snickers um milky way and bounty um you tend to be left with those basically at the end of this and then all the sort of i think and then it's um yeah and then it, it, it can depend on which ones of those go first really there never seems to be much of a pattern to which goes first and um, they're just all kind of much of a muchness um yeah, I don't think, I mean, for me, I, I prefer Mars Dark, which is the dark chocolate variety with a vanilla um, nougat in the centre. That's the Mars for me, so I, I prefer that generally. But I don't think you could say knees in I think Mars is what it is. People are going to, you know, yeah. I don't think, I, 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 it's tempted to say it wouldn't be celebrations about it, but you know what, I think it could survive without Mars in there. I think a lot of these, you could say, are staples, but I don't think they really are. I think there might be one, there's one in there that I think is for sure. Um... I don't think Mars is, you know, controversially, I don't think Mars is. I think it's a does the job. I think it's a does the job, that one. Mm. I think it's a does the job. It's not unpleasant, though. It's better than you think, as I say, but I just don't think it's uh Yeah, it's not... <clears throat> yeah, it's... I don't think it's a staple that you'd think it is. I really don't. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, I don't think it is. Um, mm. I don't, but I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's a great chocolate bar, either. I think it's just nice. It's just one of those that's quite nice, and it's... It's quite nice to have when you have it in this selection, but it's not one I'd buy the set for at all. Um, yeah, it's very mundane, I think, really, but it does the job. You know, it gives you, it ticks a box in the, in the set. The Galaxy, then, the regular Galaxy. So as I was saying before, a lovely, um, lovely, smooth, mil creamy, milky, yeah, creamy chocolate, really. It's the what, as I say, one of the only ones that I think works as a creamy chocolate. Really nice, really luxurious, you know, um, yeah, velvety, smooth. All these, you know, yeah. Describe you know adjectives I guess yes <laughs> always forget you know what's that? verbs adjectives stuff like nouns always forget what they are even though I do know I just I always forget on the spot um you've got an, looks like an e shape as well doesn't it it's quite nice but yeah I think this one very nice actually really nice chocolate just a nice solid solid chocolate past acts as a bit of a palate cleanser between the others and um, does go down quickly as well as I say the um 
Galaxy Caramel on this one definitely are some of the some of the first ones to go in the set. Um, hmm, I like this one. I think it's um, really good. I think it's definitely a, a great shop. This one, yeah, really is nice. I don't think it would be. I think I don't think it'd be celebrations if it. Um, I don't think it's one of those where it wouldn't be celebrations without it. I think, you know, but I think it's a really nice addition to the set. It's lovely, lovely bite of chocolate. Very nice. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Now this one, the Maltese teaser, this one is the one really I think that um, most people went to first when um, Celebrations first came out. Perhaps still do now, it's just something, It's so it was so unique, it's not quite like um, the regular Maltesers, you know, it's uh, the, the, basically Maltesers are normally like a sort of ball of malty honeycomb uh, covered in milk chocolate. Well this is rather than just one of those, it's basically um, lots of bits of that, bits of malty honeycomb covered in chocolate, so it's a really nice something different, it's not the same, and it was the only place you could get this for a long time before they released it separately. And uh, when, they, as I say, when they finally cut cotton on it, people loved these, you know, these are one of the best in the set. Um, and I think this one is really nice. I think this is one where, you know, it, this is what you expect from um, celebrations, to be honest with you. I think without this one, I don't, I don't, I think it's a great chocolate, and I do think it would, I don't think, you know, yeah, uh, I think it wouldn't be celebrations if this one wasn't in it. I think it's such a nice chocolate. Um, Definitely top tier. I mean, I really do. I, you know, it's 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 a great one. It's very, so it is a great chocolate. Um, but I think if you, this was removed from celebrations, I think it would be sorely missed. I think it would just not. I think it really would is one of those that's very synonymous with the set. It's very unique to the set. It's one that wasn't available before. I mean, and it is now. It might have lost the appeal slightly because you can get it anywhere. But at the time, it was very exciting to have celebrations when this when this first came out because. The celebration first came out because this was the only place you get these, and it's like, oh, this is really nice. You know, really tasty chocolate. Not had this before, anything like it, and, you, and this was the only place to get it, as I say. Um, so yeah, so I think for me this one definitely is wouldn't be uh, celebrations without it. Really nice, really tasty. Yeah, really tasty that. Yeah, so hmm. All right, so we've got um, what we've got next? Well, Milky Bar and uh, Milky Bar, Milky Way. <laughs> yes, Milky Way this time. Yeah, so Milky Way. Well, this isn't the one, as I say. Mars, Snickers, and Milky Way and Bounty. They're the ones that end up at the bottom. The Milky Way is actually really nice. It's a really nice bar actually. So like a very fluffy centre. Um, used to be, so it's like a vanilla fluff centre now. It used to be a dark chocolate one. I don't have to say. I don't know if it was just appearance was a difference, but they did release a flight bar. And um, when he, he changed Milky Way, um, to have like a lighter blue wrapper, and the flight bar had a dark blue wrapper, which is what the Milky Way used to have. Um, it was basically like classic Milky Ways, you know. It was the the other one, but they've discontinued that now. Um, yeah, so. It's just a shame, you know, so the, this Milky Way is the, you know, as I said, the, 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 the white fluffy centre. Um, the flat bar was interesting as well, though, but, the, the, you know, yeah, just digressing there a bit, really. <laughs> but, yeah, Milky Way space is not nice as well, I was trying to say, and I think I remember, um, yeah, I remember when it changed and um, hmm, went to the lighter colour on the inside, and um, I mean, did, was impressed with the change, actually, but I did miss the flight bars, you know, and the the, the, light, the darker colour on the inside. Um, obviously, flight bars came later, they weren't out at the same time. Um, hmm. Yeah, because obviously they, they, the old recipe, but basically the old Milky Way recipe. Milky, yeah, Milky Way recipe. Yeah, so not bad these ones, I think. Um, I think for me, hmm, you know, but um, I don't think they're quite, they're definitely not a great chocolate, though. And I, and I don't think, yeah, you know, if they weren't in there, I don't think it would matter too much. You know, I, I don't think you could improve them, really. I don't think, you know, because it's, it's a Milky Way. I don't think you could really, I think it is what it is. I think that's the case with a lot of these chocolates, really. Um, you know. Yeah, the they are just what they are. If you know what I mean, that, you know. You, I think if you, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how you could improve it without just changing the type of bar it is. You know what I mean? I think that's what I'm saying. Like, like last week, last time we got the Cadbury's Heroes, and it was the the, the twisted. Um, you know, you could um, improve that with dairy milk. You know, just make it better. It just that would improve it. You know what I mean? It's not that great, but I, I don't think there's a way to really improve Milky Way such. I mean you could say I'll oh, put dairy milk in it, but that's not re realistic because it's not made by Cadbury. Um yeah. I mean there's no white chocolates in here of course and that's another thing we could talk about, you know, the fact there's no white chocolates in here. Um I don't think Mars did they do a white chocolate? You know, white chocolate galaxy you could say that they do in some countries, but you know, yeah, I don't think not generally basically. Um hmm. so yeah, so I think this one I think it's uh, yeah I don't know. I don't mind them actually, but they're not one that's exciting. They're always left till the end. You could say get it out, but I don't think it's that bad. You know, I think it's okay. Um, it's just hard to say it needs improvement really. 
I think I think it's a, it does the job basically. I think you know difficult one to say. I think it's one of those that I'm not. I think the does the job ones and these ones are just a sort of almost like the filler ones really. You know they they work to an extent. I mean you could say they need improvement because they're not you know the best chocolates in the world. But I think you're kind of stuck with that with this set in my eyes. You know they are there are lots of just not that great chocolates in here. That's just the nature of it. I don't you know you can't. You know, and I think to try and sort of say, they, you know, they, they perhaps do need improvement, but they are what they are, you know what I mean? So I don't think it's, you know, hmm, not too sure you can really say that very easily, you know, yeah, difficult one, of course. But speaking of which, you've got the Snickers now, Snickers, yeah, so, hmm, this one actually tastes a lot, um, a lot better in this set than in the actual bar version, I think. It's just something about it, you know, I think, I think the Mars bar one does well. Um, just something that the conciseness of it, you know, it's got a lot smaller because these are, you know, pretty small by the way. Um, yeah, so you know, it's uh, it's not too, too, I mean, it's not again, it's one of those, you know, yeah, it's one of those really. I think it's hmm, what to say, it's it's just very easy to to just say, right, you know, does the job, but I think it does. I don't think it's a great chalk, I don't think it'd be celebration without it. Um, I think it does just do the job, really. I think it does just do the job. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's one of those. I don't think there's any other way to say it. It's just a nice one, but again, Milky Way, Mars, um, Bounties and Snickers are all left till the end, and that, there's a reason for that. They're just okay. They're just filler for it, really. They're okay. They're nice to eat, but there's ones you'd go for ahead of it, which are the ones, the three above it so far, and perhaps more to come. Um, mm, yeah. So now we've got the Twix. Now this was in for the celebration set, but it then left. Um, yeah, so it did left. So it came it came back. So when did it go? Just have a check when it uh, when it came. Let's have a look. I'll just have a see. Yeah, so just have a look. And um, the Twix. Yeah, so it was in the original one. So the whole thing came out actually in. Um, yes, yeah, so the whole thing came out actually in ninety seven, and the Twix was one of the founding flavors or founding members of the uh, celebration set. But it left in um, yeah two thousand and six. Um, yeah, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but then came back in 2011. Yeah, so it looks like that's when the Galaxy Truffle went out. So, hmm, well, we'll talk about that in a bit. But basically, the Twix were, well, I don't know, it does go before the others, to be honest with you. It's kind of a, a bit in between the Great Chalk and the Does the Job. It's nice. It's got nice sort of different textures. I don't think it's better in this smaller form than the, than the actual bar, like the like the Mars Milky Way. Well, maybe not Milky Way, but the Mars and the Snickers are. Um it's a bit better than those. It does go quicker. It's got more to it. It's a bit more interesting, but I don't think it's a great chalk, and I don't think it'd be celebrations. Um, I don't think it wouldn't be celebrations if it wasn't in there. So I think it's just a bit better than the others. It's a bit of an in-between state between great uh, does the job and great chalk, I think. But as I say, but not uh, wouldn't be celebrations without it. I think it is. It's, it is another does the job. I think you know it's um, it's well, it's a difficult one. Um, I do like them, and I do kind of go for them a bit over the others because there's just something a bit more interesting about them. I like the biscuit, I like the textures. You know, it's just something a bit more about it, the different textures. Um, but you know, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't think it. You know, I don't think it was there when it left. I don't think anyone particularly missed it when it came back. No one, I think people were disappointed that the Galaxy Truffle left. Um, I don't think it's a great shock, as I say. I think it's just a does the job, but it's just a bit better. But it's better than the the three uh, previous to it for sure, for sure. Yeah, so you know, yeah, I think that's the thing with with this set. I think there's a lot of them that are just just do the job, and that's about it. You know what I mean? But mm. right, so we've got the two that left. Now these two are no longer in the set. Now the topic was originally there. Um, yeah, from ninety seven to two thousand and six. Yeah, so it left with the Twix actually when the Twix originally left, but it didn't come back. So the topic's a bit funny. Well, I just reviewed it, and a lot of people like it. Very popular bar actually, even though you don't see it much these days. And there's rumours of it being discontinued. Um, and I must say it was an interesting one. It was um. Basically like a Mars or a Snickers, but with hazelnuts, really. Um, different kind of nougat as well. So whereas the Snickers has a sort of different type of nougat than the Mars, the topic again has a different type. It's more like white nougat that you get in the Mars Dark, really. And reminiscent of a bit of a nougat nougat that you get on the continent, you know, in the mainland European places. Um, interesting one. Um, where to put this one? Well, <clears throat> I mean, it's not for me, basically. I could appreciate it, um, but it's not for me. But I think it would be definitely better... Um, you know, yeah, than the bounty. I think it just would have something more because it's got the different taste of caramel in it. I said a nougat. Um, I imagine you know, hopefully, if it's not crammed too full because it's a smaller size, I think it might work a lot better with a lot 
smaller hazelnuts really because that's why it's got hazelnuts in it the, the bar version was a bit too much too many hazelnuts um, so I could see this one now I can't remember it particularly well it's been a long time since it was there um, let's say 2006 really. I, I tended to uh, not eat them then anyway because they would be one of my ones I wouldn't go for really I didn't used to go for Snickers at the time either but I can eat them now so if, nowadays I would have tried it and I think I would have liked it um, I think it's for some people, you know, this is going to be one of their favourites because they like hazelnuts and things. For me, that's not the case. You know, it can't be one, of, and I don't think it's celebration any less for it not being in there. But I, I do think it's, you know, I don't think it was right to get rid of it. And I think I could definitely appreciate it if it was there now. I think it would work like the Snickers does. Where it's small enough that the chopped hazelnuts in there will be small, you know, be very finely chopped or fine, more finely chopped than they are in the actual bar version. Um, so I think it's, you know, yeah, I think for me. I reckon it'd be a, a duster job, this one, I think, if it was back in. I think it should it should be back in, I think, really. And I think it would be quite nice to have it in there. And I think I would, I could eat it, you know what I mean? It might be one I don't go for straight away. Um, but I think it would have something about it. I'd say that white nougat, you know, um, and the chewy caramel. I think it would just work like a Snickers, but slightly different. And I think the nuts being chopped more finely than the actual bar would actually mean it would be pretty nice. Um, yeah, so it's a shame it's not in there. I'd like to try it. And I think I, I, think I would enjoy that one. I think I would enjoy that one. So, last but certainly by no means least, the Galaxy Truffle. Now, this one, yeah, was a founding member of this celebration set as well. Um, in 1997, only left in 2011, the Twix replaced it for some insane reason. I just can't fathom to this day. This was an amazing one. This was like the the um, Maltese teaser bar, you know. Um, I'm just trying to think if the Maltese teaser bar was called teaser when it was first, didn't it? I'm not sure. Maybe it must have been, I guess. But yeah, this was just it was so unique. It, you couldn't find it anywhere else. It was just unique to this set. Um, absolutely gorgeous truffle it was as well. Really nice, really soft. I'm not a big fan of truffles generally these days because they're all much of a muchness. But this one was really nice, really unique, different. Um, I say sort of galaxy chocolates as well. And as I say truffles in all these chocolate selections are quite mundane and a bit boring. But this one was really nice, yeah, and just had something special about it because you couldn't get it elsewhere you just couldn't um and it's just the fact they got i can't believe they got rid of it i don't know what they were thinking i mean i can only assume it's because we only produced it for this set now they have reintroduced Ga uh, galaxy truffles um you know you can buy in sort of big sets and things but they're not the same they've got like a they, they are like proper truffles you know like and then the boring sort of kind you know one that's a bit mundane this was like a nice fluffy scent it was just different you know um I say it wasn't like a, just a typical truffle like the you know say the new ones where which are okay but they're just a bit, a bit mundane. This one just had it wasn't like the best chocolates ever or anything, but it was so interesting and nice. Really enjoyed it, you know. Um, really miss it, you know. It was, it was this and the teaser one, the two I would go for straight away. Um, and I just was so disappointed when they got rid of it. Really disappointed. And to be honest with you, and because of that, you know, and I do think this is the case. It's not celebration since it's left. It's just not been the same. It really hasn't, um, it really hasn't. It's been, a, you know, a shadow of its former self really about that in it. I think those two, the teaser bar and that one were the two unique ones to the set. And of course the teaser wasn't unique anymore, the truffle one still would be. Um, yeah, real shame, real shame that it's, um, you know, it's left. It's just, it's just a shame. I can't believe it. I just don't understand. I don't know what they did. It's like Cadbury's getting rid of the, discontinued the timeout, you know. Why, why did they get rid of this one, the set? It was so nice. So different. Well, I'd say it was different. That was the other thing. It was, um, you know, really you need to the set, different than everything else. Just really nice. I just don't know why they got rid of it. I guess you could say there's three galaxy products in the set. Is it too much? And I, I remember thinking that maybe it was you know, at the time. Um, but it was just yeah. But that one's not the one to get rid of for sure. It's just so nice. Um, yeah. Really lovely. As I say, unique, unique product, unique chocolate. Very different, different to all the others. Um. Couldn't get it outside of the set, and it's and it has and I say since it's gone, celebrations haven't been the same for me. It really, it really is the case of celebrations aren't the same without it. it. Really isn't, you know. Real shame, real shame. Yeah. Yeah. So shame for that, but um, hopefully one day it'll return. I really hope it does, but I don't think it will because it's they've got to go out the way to make it. You know, the others are kind of, you know, similar to what they already produce. That one isn't. So you know, real shame. Hope it does come back. I really do. Fingers crossed. <laughs>
Right, guys, that brings us to the end of this uh, yeah, tier list. Uh, possibly shorter than normal. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but a bit shorter than normal. But hopefully you still enjoyed it. Let me know what you think as well in the comments, or if you've probably been chatting about it a lot of the time, uh, so I already know. But uh, anyway, let, let me know either way, <laughs> if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure it was great chatting to you. Um, yeah, you know the drill by now. You check out the member program and uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment or free. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And let me know your thoughts on it as well, whether you think I got it right or wrong, whether you agree or not, this, that and the other. And yeah, perhaps what you think we should be in celebrations as well. You know, I was trying to think before what, what they could have. Let me know what you think, yeah. Maybe you can think of something I couldn't, because it's quite, yeah, quite difficult to think of other things. So, you know, maybe more time I could have thought of something, but, mm. but let me know your thoughts. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time. Bye.